after our video on the channel today, we are here for the Newcastle United vs Burnley match preview. It's a massive game for both clubs. Burnley have had some bad form recently and Newcastle United are on a great run of form. So it should be an interesting game. Both teams play some similar football, hoof balls, up to the big strikers and see what we can do. Anyways lads, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, it's getting close to Christmas, I did try and say come hit 7k, it's looking very unlikely. So if you could subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot. Anyways lads, let's get into the video now. We'll start off by looking at Burnley, we'll talk about Newcastle, and we'll end off the video there. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into the video. So looking at Burnley's last six games. Uh, they've been on some really funny form, they've won some amazing games, but lost some terrible games. Losing 3-0 to Sheffield United. We beat them, but then they beat West Ham 3-0. It just shows how random football is. And then they beat Watford 3-0, right? So, if, so when you look at that, you think, oh, they've, they've done all right. They lose 2-0 to Palace at home. They lose, I know it's Manchester City, but they lose 4-1 to City. And then lose 5-0 to Tottenham. And we beat Tottenham, we drew it, we drew it to Man City, who haven't played Palace yet. We drew it to Watford, we beat West Ham, and we beat Sheffield United. We should really be looking at that and thinking, oh, we should win this game. But that's what I think happened with Southampton. We went in that game thinking, oh, we're going to win. And that's how the first half was so bad, because Southampton aren't a great side anyways. But we just didn't really turn up in the first half, because I think we thought, oh, they're not as good. So, it's away from home, Burnley, Turf Moor. It will be an interesting game. Anything can happen in a game like that at Turf Moor. Last time we were at Turf Moor, we won 2-1. With uh, two centre backs scoring Fernandez, but they got given us an own goal. And uh, Keevan Clark scored. So we'll have to see what happens. Turf Moor is a very strange place to go. You can never go there. And Burnley just don't turn up or get absolutely hammered. Because Burnley in some games this season have looked very good. Beating West Ham 3 0. I know West Ham are shocking at the minute. But. You beat West Ham 3-0, it's still a really good result considering the players they have got. Talk about players, uh, they have got some decent players. The main top point is Ashley Barnes. He's got a lot of goals this season, uh, him and Chris Wood. They play a 4-4-2, hoof balls, that's basically what they do. Uh, they've got Chris Wood and Ashley Barnes up top. They've got Dwight McNeil, Newcastle were looking at him for £15 million. He's at Burnley, he'll probably want to show... Newcastle, uh, what he's about, but they've got some decent players. The two centre backs, Ben Me and James Tauzowski, they, they are good players. But I think I think if I, I we don't know at the minute, but if Alan Saint Maximin is fit, which he doesn't look like he will be, because leaving the game against Southampton on crutches, if he if, if he is on a oh uh, Phil Barnsley, they still play Phil Barnsley. I'm like, what? I think maybe Eric uh, Peter could get the better of Miguel Amiron because he's a bit stronger, he's a bit more experienced. You could say that about Barnsley, but you've heard St. Maximin here. So if I really do hope St. Maximin is fit. I don't think he will be, but if so, if he is, he'll have uh, him for breakfast, dinner, tea, supper, and for bed. He'll have him all day long. That's me looking at Burnley, they have got a decent team, they are sitting 13th in the Premier League, so they're not like your Southampton right down at the bottom, so it will be a very interesting game. Let's look at Newcastle now. So if you look at Newcastle United's form recently, it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Beating West Ham 3-2, beating Bournemouth 2-1, yeah, we lost to Villa, drew to Man City, beat Sheffield United and beat Southampton. That's four wins, one draw one loss. In the last seven we've lost one, which is to Villa. That's absolutely outstanding. And you've got to give credit to Steve Bruce. I don't know why Steve Bruce isn't getting much credit from fans, right? It's normally we'll pick out a player, say, oh, Alan St. Maximin's fantastic, or Shelby's fantastic. No, you've got to be praising Steve Bruce, because yes, he set up his team fantastic in every single game we've won. Even Man City with Drew set up his team fantastically. Villa, that was just an off day. But our last six games, fantastic. The man in form, John Joe Shelby, the captain at the minute, he's showing 
uh, Jamal Lascelles. He should be maybe to be captain. I don't think that would be the case. I think Jamal's our captain. He's a leader on the pitch. Don't think Shelby's that at the minute. But you've got to... Shelby's been fantastic. Back to back to back goals. Three goals in his last three games. Fantastic by John Joe Shelby. And we've always said that Shelby should be using his ability going up top. And he's done that recently. Fantastic John Joe Shelby. One player who... Again, Southampton, who I think everyone was disappointed with was Joe Linton. He just didn't turn up and... I think fans are getting frustrated now. We really are paying forty million for him and he's doing nothing. Start start the lad who got on a free. Not from Germany, not Peter Love and Kranz. <laughs> that champ was a banging chant bat in the day like. But uh you've got to start Andy Cavill. He came on against Southampton and changed the game completely. Absolutely fantastic. And it wasn't the case Cavill wasn't fit against uh, Southampton. Because he said that he was disappointed not to start. But as a substitute, you've got to come on and make a difference. What did you do? Make a difference. All the substitutes did. Maybe it's probably Sean, maybe it's not. But all the substitutes are Sean Steve Bruce. He should be playing me. Sean Longstaff came on. He got the assist. He sh like Sean Longstaff is shown to Steve Bruce play me. right? At the minute, I don't say anywhere in for Sean Longstaff. But with all the games coming up in Christmas, there will be definitely Sean. So... Form our form recently and how Burnley will come into the game. I'm gonna say a Burnley 2, Newcastle United 2. I think it's gonna be a very interesting game. I, I don't know why, but I've got that feeling we might not turn up, but we've got the quality just to maybe get a draw. If I don't take Maxim and Dinjard, I can't see us winning the game. And that just shows you at the start of the season we won one game with, uh, until he came back into the team, Alan St. Maximin, yeah, he did start against Tottenham, so technically, yeah, every game Alan St. Maximin hasn't played, we haven't won, every game we've won, Alan St. Maximin's played, so, he just shows you that different and quality up top of what we need, I don't want to be saying that to come in, maybe play Joe Linton, if Alan St. Maximin doesn't fit, play Al Morley on his preferred left, and play Joe Linton on the right, because he can play there, and he didn't play up top by himself with Hoffenheim. He had Cranwich with him, someone behind him, and two players on the wide. Sorry, but buying a player like that and just hiding him in a tactics and a formation which doesn't suit him, he's not going to do as well to what he could do. So maybe play Joel Linton on the right. Maybe he's, let's see what happens. Leave a like, lads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts going into the game against Burnley. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Anyways, lads, I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, there will be a pack over at the moment. We'll predict the team out Friday and the game stuff on Sunday. Leave a like, subscribe on Saturday, sorry. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, lads. I'll see you all in the next one.